another video. Sorry if I'm a little quieter today. But, um, today we're doing a ranking tier with um, all the different iPods. This is going to be a four part series. Um, today we're doing the classics only. Then we're going to be doing the touches, I think, nanos, and then shuffles and mini on the part four. Um, but this is a collab, so I have um, Delta, Dan, and Cobra. Delta and Cobra, I'll have their channels linked in the description as well as Dan's. Delta and Cobra's channel are about iPods, same as me. Um, and then Cobra, or Dan, sorry, is doing um, uh, photog or cinema photography. So we're going to get this going. Um, making sure that this is all recording and we'll start the video out. Yeah. All right, okay. guys. I don't need to Hello. record this. Hello. Well, is everyone on the tier list yet? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, let's start off with obviously the first classic. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, so first classic. So I'm yeah, going to say, say... I'm gonna Go say ahead. uh C tier. I'm gonna say C tier. Well, it was like really like good when it came out and it was revolutionary. But... It, was, it was like it was the first like good MP three player. Yeah. Yeah. That's like that's like its its main thing. It was the first. Yeah, yeah. I'm putting it as a B tier. I mean it's better use, than like, a C tier. Firewire and whatever. Yeah, I think yeah. I think we put it low uh, low B tier when we put the others in. Like the middle, like it can really go in B or C. Yeah, it's wherever we feel. Um, I'm gonna, but, I'm gonna put it in C because of the second gen. I'm putting enough. it in B because it's like the first. I'm putting it B, but I'd put the uh, second gen. I'd go just a bit higher in B. In B. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna put it with it and put um first gen on C. Yeah, I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the second gen with the first gen if we're both putting them if we're all putting it in B. Yeah, because the second gen is essentially the same thing. It just introduced more storage options. Yeah. Yeah. Now the third gen I think deserves a B tier or an A tier. Like it was all I touch think high, base high, and everything. High okay. The third gen third gen is weird. Yeah. It's got it's got a weird. really cool like all touch thing. And it's got yeah. the light up LEDs, but it has you need like you need like firewire. Yeah, yeah it has and a lot of firewire. You you have to use the uh, thirty pin to firewire. But back so, then, I don't think it would have been that bad, but now using it, yeah, no, it's third it's just a massive kind of a... pain in the ass. Yeah, yeah. So, so we'll I'm gonna it. put I'm gonna like for the time it would have been a B or a, or an A. I think now it should go in C. Yeah, it's yeah, same. Kind of out of date because collecting now it's not the although best. like i've seen community posts of people putting like different colored leds and stuff in it which is pretty yeah, cool to be honest that is cool and yeah or in it yeah yeah <laughs> um and so if now, you mess around with the with ipod wizard but you can really do that with a lot of yeah now the um, fourth gen right, mono. Now, now, now the fourth gen fourth are we gen doing mono, mono first no, or gen mono. Yeah, 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 fourth gen A-tier. Mono. A-tier. A-tier. Uh, yeah, straight in A-tier. Call it A-tier. Yep. Because it has the monochrome screen. It's got the yeah, modern It was the last one to have the monochrome screen. Yeah. And, and it, it doesn't rely on Firewire. It can, you can put, like... I think you can put 256 gigs in it, if you really I want to. I can, but so it's a bit unstable. 28 is, like, the safe max. For, yeah. Yeah. So, oh, 64 solid, solid A-tier. Yeah. Uh, what about what about the color? Uh, uh, B tier. I think it would be good for its time again, but I think it's not aged as well as mm, the monochrome. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now it's like kind of pointless. I, I'd say B tier because it still has all of the modding yeah. capabilities, but it just doesn't yeah. have any of the old school charm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, it sort of does, but it also does. Highest a, a B tier at the moment. Definitely. Now but, yeah. our fifth gen. I'm gonna put it as oh, a S S S S S S S S Gen S Fifth Gen is S. best gen. Fifth Gen is hands yes. down. I have a fifth gen actually. I mean I have, I have mine gen. too, I but it's like the thing is the fifth gen is 
easier to open hands down compared to the newer generations um yeah, it's no, modding no, no, capabilities no, no. are part, pretty no, no, no. good the best part about the fifth gen you and can the, put a bigger battery in it that's yeah the that's bigger battery amazing. and um it's also the color options there are so many more color options and there plus if you really want to go crazy you can 3d I mean, print you your own casings them. You, for can, them. you can put them on yeah, definitely. Um, I we've seen on our Discord the mothership saying that people are doing 3D printed resin cases that are like clear on the background yeah. and whatnot, and that's like just incredible. It's yeah. If someone could do that for the mini, that would be amazing. Yes, agree. Oh, oh yeah. Now the sixth gen. Epic. All right, now the sixth gen. Eh. Oh no. I'm saying not the sixth gen. A tier. Six and seven gen or an A tier. It's I'd cons are that gen. it's difficult to open and it's um limitation of 128 gigs. And they have and some a lot of them have motherboard problems as well. Mm. I've yeah. only ever seen them with I would motherboard put it in problems. B so just below um the I, I'm putting it I'm putting it in D, but mostly because of my own personal experience, which <laughs> has been absolutely hellish. So big sad for the sixth gen. Yeah. Yeah. It also, right, I think it gen, deserves a B tier. Seventh gen, I'm putting the A. Yeah, the sound gen is I definitely an A tier. Because although As... they're a pain to open, like you get at least some reward out of it. Yeah. yeah. As our as our Lord Down Under says, you could put two terabytes in it. Yes. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, at that point it's really four, it just doesn't work very well. Yeah. It it's like the sound gen gets all its credit because of its storage, its looks, like it looks you have to admit, a 7th gen compared to a 5th gen looks a little bit nicer because of the finishes it has, but otherwise, yeah. like, it's difficult I mean, to, I to open. I personally prefer the 5th gen. It's just think, as difficult. Um, a scratched 6th gen looks a bit, um, or 7th gen looks better than a scratched 5th gen. Yes. Yeah. The... But I mean, like... Because the 5th gen goes cloudy on the screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah but you'll, like, you you'll see the aluminum on the underside with the 6th gen, the 7th gen. Yeah. But it's like... Especially if it's black. And also, mm. like, my favorite thing about this 7th gen is the OS. I love having cover flow on that thing. That's what m one of my favorite parts about it is. But, yeah. it, like, it's... I have a 6.5 gen, but it's considered an early 7th gen. It's has a limitation of 128 gigs, which is how much storage I put into mine. But it's like... The, mm -hmm. it's not quite S tier compared to the 5th gen because the 5th gen is like that's what I recommend to people who are like wanting to get into the hobby it's one of the easier full classics to open or yeah. anything like that Definitely. it's like the, the, they're plastic clips yeah. it's not metal clips soldered to the or spot welded to the side of the casing or anything it's just metal clips so mm -hmm. it's pretty easy to get through all that. Uh, Delta, hold on. Okay, Delta's dipping out for a minute, so Delta will be Sad. back soon. Um, so are we going to throw the Mini in with this? Yeah, it's been quite short, so we might as well. Yeah, right, we well. can include the Mini. Now, the first right, gen mini, mini is yeah, a B tier. First gen Mini is yeah. a B tier. B -tier. I mean, you can't, you can't really do anything with it. It's not worth it. Honestly, you, you yeah. can do stuff with it, but it's just not as but it's, it's just overshadowed by the second. glorious second gen. And the second S -tier. gen, S -tier. Oh my. best at S tier, hands down. The upgradeability, yeah. like people have, um, Mark is one of them, has put 512 could, gigs in one. It's like you could probably put a terabyte in it, you might be able to yeah. if you can go up to 512 been, gigs and like. Has anyone tried? I, I think I, I'm a tried, couple people really have, but like those people also want to use Rockbox for that stuff since it, Rockbox can play Flax and whatnot. And Rockbox is really unstable in that kind of storage. And you see, you mm -hmm. kind of have to use stock firmware. But I mean, like. But then Rockbox does allow you to get more storage on, if I'm right. Well, no. <laughs> Rockbox isn't more storage base it is more um compatibility with different audio 
files. Like, it can play yeah. more... It, the big thing for Rockbox and audiophile enthusiasts and whatnot who use iPods, the biggest thing they do, Rockbox 4, is not necessarily the custom OS or anything. It's really meant for being able to play those huge flak files that are, like, yeah. massive in size. That's what I've heard the biggest pro about it all is, is just being able to play those big audio files comparatively. But Unless I, you're like me and Ryzen, and you can't even find how to shuffle on Rockbox. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've always had bad luck with Rockbox installing it on my 5th gen. It just kind of bugged out or crapped out on me. Um... On my I, I mini, it started on it, putting lines just... on my mini. It just didn't, wasn't working. So all my pods are running stock firmware. That's just what I use for. Also it. because it's like nostalgic, the good old mid two thousand five. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Um. And I, I think the the um, OS is clean anyway, and you're not using it for a games console, are you? You're just using it as a music player. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. like I charge my mini about a month once a month just to keep the battery up but like when i was using it consistently before i got my fifth gen and then replaced it with my six um 6.5 gen i was using it daily for hours on end and it lasted me upwards of like two or three weeks because there is no need to power a color screen it's just a mono chrome screen and that's yeah. what people have said is so great about them is because the battery life is so incredible because it's not having to push out all this color, the backlight is even optional. It's just displaying black pixels, and that's all it needs to do. Yeah, that's kind and of like why it's displaying black pixels and maybe it has to move them around sometimes. Yeah, yeah, and that's so, like the um the Mono Fourth again. Back to that, it's just so good because I I got twelve hours out of my new battery. Yeah, and just mm -hmm. back to back use. And that's I've... great. That's plenty. <laughs> Now, the one thing I enjoy about the 6.5 gens is, one, the OS, but then the battery sizes I can get for them is huge. Like I have a 2,000 milliamp one in mine, and I've only charged it on purpose once since I found it. Like, fully yeah, charged like, it once. Hold that's on, the problem that's... with the, um, especially yeah. the third okay. and fourth gens, is because of the... Um, it's like got a battery cut out instead of yeah, just the being in the case. Designed. Yeah. It's, there's just no way you can customize it. You as could. Much. I'm thinking you could probably just get the thicker like uh, case for it. Yeah, and then just maybe, put maybe it around the back of the drive. Yeah, drive. maybe like 3D print and insert where the battery would go, and then have the like a giant bat just on the back. Yeah, like on the other on, side like, of the drive yeah, or something. Yeah. 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 But, uh, of course you would flash mod it, but... Uh, yeah, just so it's thinner, but... I mean, my flash modded one is 128 gigs with the iFlash Solo, and then the 2000 milliamp hour battery. And I played... When I was um doing the battery test to calibrate the battery, I played music after I was fully charged for 18 hours straight, and it dropped down to about 80%. Yeah. It's like... Yeah. It's... Yeah, live. Those Dude, big batteries way. are awesome, but that's kind of the one downside to the Mini, is the Mini, you can't really do that since it's so tight in there. Yeah, like, it's quite a cramped case. Now, if, Yeah, you like, can't really get a yeah, it's, larger cases for it. Now, yeah. the thing is, I think it would be possible to put a bigger battery in if we can find... Um, Compact flash, case. like really thin compact flash to micro SD cards only that, just that, not a full size SD card, and keep it really thin, and then get an extra or a longer um, that m connector on the back of the motherboard to the compact flash pins and push it down farther. I think mm -hmm. you could do a bigger battery because that's what's really constraining the battery placement is that back part of the compact flash pin area is that's what constrains it. I think otherwise you could put a longer and bigger battery if you could push down everything else but it's like those certain adapters really don't exist yet because it's not necessary it's, not. it's like 
the market for the minis isn't as big as the market for the fifth gens. The market for the fifth gens are huge comparatively to any other pod. Mm. Well, yeah, because no one like uh, knows that the mini is like a good pod. Yeah, it, the mini. That, that's also what. I mean, yeah, you have bank me. pods. But that's about it. Yeah, like everyone kind of looks Spreading over the word. mini because they think it's just a slightly bigger nano, which is it's really yeah. not a bigger nano. In a way, it kind of is, but yeah. I mean, if you think about it this way, the nano or the mini came out before the fifth or fourth gen mono, and. The mm -hmm. mini is what brought us the click wheel. If we didn't have the click wheel, who knows what we would still be on? Would we still be on the third gen touch yeah, interface or what? We'd have whatever what's on the uh, third gen. Yeah, a touch yeah, interface on a seventh gen though. That doesn't. The click wheel is like what provides the nostalgia for these pods, and mm -hmm. taking that away. Although I, I think it would be cool to see what the third gen touch wheel. It would be like on the modern pods. Yeah. Oh, if it, was, if it was all like backlit, oh, that looked beautiful, honestly. Yeah. Also, oh. um, just like addressing some concepts I've seen, I don't know if you guys have seen them as well on Reddit. Um, I don't know who it was, made a concept for an iPod SE. Oh, I've seen yeah, that. Yeah, I saw that. Like, I saw iPod that. SE. And ha having like haptic feedback, and I think that would be really cool. If Apple made another one. Liquid, they would basically have to talk to our server, in a way, <laughs> um, saying, what do y'all guys really want out of this, and saying, because if they just build a pod that we don't really want to use, they're not going to sell it. Yeah, because and, the yeah. biggest market is the people who like the nostalgia, instead and of... Also, who want the to pod needs to be capable of other things for it to entice the rest of the market, too. It can't just be... Yeah. For us people who are nostalgic about iPods and laud them because they're awesome and whatnot. It also needs to be something that uh, provides features for the rest of the people like streaming Apple Music or streaming Spotify or other things like that that will provide yeah. usefulness for, well, for the rest. I think the iPod is more of an offline device. I mean, mm. you're meant to just shove definitely like, all your it. music onto it. And then go out and go out and do whatever and come back. I don't really think streaming services would be that big of a deal on an iPod. I mean, yeah, it'd be nice to have, but yeah, it's about like I'm... storing all your music and just having it like that. Like, would would anyone really want Apple Music on it? Mm, I think some people would, but I, mean... I think biggest features haptic feedback. Bluetooth, and some sort of streaming capability. Are the like three biggest. I would yeah. think... And, mod and modding capability. If it can't have mods, or then... Really, yeah. Or really just, like, extreme storage, like, five terabytes. I would yes. say, oh, if man. Apple did it, they would need to follow at least a couple guidelines. It needs to have Bluetooth, everything else needs to be updated, but keep the click wheel, because it's an iPod, it needs a click wheel. Um, but then you need Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, a better screen, um, <laughs> modding capabilities, but not in the sense that we think of our modding. Like, yeah. being able to put a one terabyte micro SD card in there would be perfectly fine for most people. Like, we don't, because that's essentially what we're doing when our, we're modding yeah. our stuff. We're just we're tossing an SD card like into it. Is to solve an issue. And yeah, so if, I if mean, they... there isn't really a giant company making MP3 players anymore. Yeah, just so if they shipped with one terabyte or five, even five twelve as stock storage, then there would be no need for um, for flash modding the modern iPod. Yeah, agreed. But if they like solder it shut or something. Yeah, I'd, I'd keep the um, I'd keep the same shape design, but and the ca uh, same case designs. Um, yeah, they could just... even reuse the cases. <laughs> and just like watch, watch them use like uh, actual like uh, like flash mod kits. That'd be beautiful. That would be that awesome. Would be amazing. If they if they literally just left it the same, 
No, so Apple would probably be the company you. saying, you know what, um, we want to buy like 50% of your share and that's what we're going to own so we can do this. And then the, <laughs> and the, all the prices for iFlash just get marked buy up. Our iFlash. Yeah. Or Apple just buys out iFlash completely and says, all right, everyone who wants to buy it from us, we're going to mark it up another 50 bucks. <laughs> and, then, and then they buy out a lead off slowly. Yeah. It is all, if, you, if you want cool cases, you got to you gotta buy it from us. <laughs> Don't they charge like one, two hundred pounds for like the, uh, hot, the ear cups for the yeah. AirPods? Hold on. Yeah, that, that's mad. I'm still surprised that Apple's even making the touches anymore. I mean, if you think about I it, think like five pounds. Well, well again, it's I meant think they're to very be good. an offline device. I think so they're very then... good devices for young children starting getting like a phone and teaching them like responsibilities. But uh -huh. apart from that, I don't think there's much of a market for them at the moment. Mm. Agree. I mean, if they can make the touch, then they should make the classic or the SE or whatever they're going to call it. Just make the mm. iPod Classic Pro. Yes, in jet black. <laughs> like, well, not jet black, just, like matte black. Yeah, just make it like again. Just give it like who knows how much storage. Just throw all of it in there. <laughs> Agree. But yeah, be like it's just like the two thousands. The. Yeah, we we all know that if they did that, then they'd be charging for Apple Music. Yeah. Yeah. They'd be charging like what is it like, three hundred bucks for that thing? No. Anything. Ooh, get Apple TV Plus on your iPod Classic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be cool. Being able to cast like you know Chromecast, just have like, like films on your thing. For Apple TV. Yeah. That'd be cool. <laughs> My thing is with the yeah. touches is that, well, not touches. Back to the classics, though, is that the thing with the classics is they're so expensive to do or mod or whatnot. Yeah, like I spent sixty-three pounds repairing and uh, fixing my fourth gen. I mean, the thing is, okay, if you buy a broken classic. You don't know what necessarily the issue is. You could assume it's the battery, you could assume it's the screen or the motherboard. Drive. But at that point, yeah. you're going you to be spending a lot more issues. money than buying a cheap working pod and then going from there and modding it. Yeah. And then there's the issue of people who don't know what they're on about and they're like, oh, it's the battery. Yeah. Yeah. And so you assume it's the battery, but then you're like, you open it up, you test the battery in a different pod, and the battery works. That so that yeah, means uh, it's a motherboard issue. It's like, it's like the the problem with uh, broken pods on eBay is like a working pod. Let's say like a working uh, monochrome fourth gen. That's around like I don't know, like thirty, forty bucks, mm -hmm. or just a pod. But then you go for the four parts one, the one that's like broken. It's like twenty nine bucks. It's not that much cheaper. Yeah, there's no point wasting yeah. that much. Because some like, wasting... has made, you think, made these things popular again. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, we don't whose fault that is. Yeah. It's definitely not then, um, someone named uh, Dank Pods or anything, no. It's definitely not someone from Australia, yeah. Mm -mm. Although, the only good who, thing about Who watches that, people is... from down there? Like, they the absolutely don't about... have a snake as a pet. <laughs> <laughs> I think the only good thing about dank pods having um like making it popular is the prices if you want to sell yours at the moment. Yeah. It, they yeah. are great. You can sell I um I sold a fifth gen, um five point five gen black for forty pounds, which is about fifty dollars. Okay. Yeah. So it, it, but... it's a great time to sell them and yeah. buy them cheap if you can. Mm hmm well, um, I'm going to end this video. I'm just going to go on mute, close up my video, and we can keep talking if we yeah. want. Yeah, I have to right. as well. All right, cool. All right. Thank you guys for watching this video. Today we were just doing the classics. Um, and 
next week we will be doing the touches and all about them. You kind of heard us talking about it a little bit, but we're just focusing on the touches next week. And um, then it will be the nanos, and then we're going to go into the shuffles. Um, as y'all can see, we have all this ready to go. We're just having to do the video, but that will be next Saturday. Stay tuned for the next video. And this is my first collab, so tell me what y'all think. If y'all want more collabs, just comment in the video. Otherwise, this is iPod Guides. I'm Ryzen1, and I'll see y'all next time.